Hey guys, I'm Satorio Phil. Welcome back to my channel. This is a selected runway review of Dior Men's The Winter 2021 2022 collection. And this is Kim Jones in collaboration with Peter Doig, who is a Scottish artist. In this video, I'm gonna go over a few of the looks and some of the details, and then you'll see all of the looks from the runway at the end. I did a similar one for the Louis Vuitton Men's Fall Winter 2021 show. I'll link it in the description if you're interested in that. This is the first look which features a hand embroidered coat and it's extremely detailed and then you can also see the military influence, the motif that's going to run throughout this collection. It was meant to be like a ceremony that was the theme for the entire show. This next look features a head-to-toe pattern from Peter Doig, including the signature saddlebag, which has the print. And this was the version that has the darker leather. And then there's a bowler hat as well. You'll see quite a bit of headwear from this collection and a lot of Kim Jones's collection for Dior as well. He's also wearing the larger saddlebag, the shoulder bag. I haven't seen a lot of pictures of this from people wearing it. So I kind of wonder how popular this model is because it feels a little awkward. It's a really short strap and a really large bag. So it doesn't seem comfortable to carry. So this next look is pretty much all about the bag. It is the smaller size of the saddlebag. I believe this one's probably made out of metal. It's I noticed it's something that Kim Jones likes to do at Dior. Almost every season there seems to be like a small metal bag. This is another head to toe look with that same print. Um, looks camouflagey, but this has a lighter tint to it. And you can see the brown leather is lighter than the, the first saddlebag that you saw. So this is a pretty clear military inspired look, kind of like 19th century French military outfits. The piece I wanted to highlight is the bag, which is he's wearing in the back. It's the saddle bag, but this has that embroidered Dior Jacquard all over it. And this is the silver version. There's also the gold version on the runway, also worn on the back. Yellow was probably the brightest color used throughout the collection because it's something that I think is used in Peter Doig's work. And he has a tote bag, but it has that hand strap in the front. And then this hand strap is also being used in a smaller crossbody bag or messenger bag. For this look, it's another bright yellow is being used. The giant scarf or stole here looks like it's also hand embroidered so you can see the details and definitely I think this is probably another piece that's likely made to order and this silhouette with the pockets exposed under the jackets also in a different look but in orange the color of this jacket is nice with the ombre effect so I really like these shirts It's probably my favorite ready to wear pieces from this collection initially I thought they were white and beige but the beige part is actually sheer, so that's his skin color showing through. And then there's like an artwork in the middle. And here's another piece of the same type of sheer shirt. I like this version better. This is a also interesting kind of military jacket. Something that he did with some of the other looks, if you look at the collar, it's almost like a thin scarf that goes through a buttonhole on the other side. So I do think that's kind of interesting. So this is a very clean, I think military inspired look. Pretty clear, you can see the embroidered details. The I think the colors really work great here. That pale grayish blue works really well with the orange. When you look closer, even the buttons are actually wrapped in fabric. I think that's a really nice touch. And it's just a very elegant jacket. I think he had a couple of mohair looks Two. Here's one of them. It reminds me of his time at Louis Vuitton when he did some mohair sweaters. He also had this grayish print. So in this look, you don't really see the figures, but you see the brush strokes in this jacket. In another look with a trench coat, you can see the silhouettes of what looks like army officers. In the background, you just see the silhouette of them. I will say military inspired looks can be hard to pull off sometimes because they can look a bit costumey. And some of these looks are very military, I feel like, and could be 
really hard to pull off her everyday wear. And it also reminds me of John Varvatos. He likes this button details for a lot of his coats. I think it's something he's kind of known for, for his brand. So those are pretty much the looks that I've selected. They're not all of the looks. There are, I believe, 45 in total. And I'm gonna show the final walkthrough after this as well, if you're interested in taking a look. So thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.